cash flows. That's your other financial statement. Your statement of cash flows has three major parts. The first section is called the operating section. It is the most important. It is the most important. If you are operating your business and you cannot generate cash from operating your business, how long do you think you're going to last? Not long. So that has to be the most important section that you've got. So when, typically what it does is, is it asks you what section does this transaction go in? So if we look at the second section, it's called investing. And then the last one is called the financing. All right, so you got three sections. What you do is on every one of these, you got cash coming in, you got cash going out. So on every one of these, you got an inflow and you got an outflow. So then you put these three sections together. So this is your three sections. So you've got to do the math here. This might be a plus or a minus. We really hope this one's a plus. <laughs> this one could be a plus or a minus. If this one's a minus, we're not too, we're not too upset about that one. If this one is a minus, we're not too upset about that one. That means that more cash went out than came in. But this one better be a plus. So this could be a plus, this could be a minus, this could be a minus, this could be a plus, minus, minus. You're going to put those three numbers together. Then to that, you're going to add your beginning cash. So how much cash did you start out with? So it's your beginning cash plus the changes. That's how much cash you got at the end. So the last number on your statement of cash flows, the last number on the statement of cash flows is the first number on what financial statement? Balance sheet. So the balance sheet would be dated December the 31st, 2009. <laughs> This would say, this is how much cash we had on December 31st, 2009. This would say how much cash we had on January 1st, 2009. So we're trying to figure out with this statement, where did our cash go? Where did it come from? What happens with companies is that you can be profitable and still go out of business. Because if money's going out faster than it's coming in, what are you going to have to do when you have to pay your employees? You're going to have to go do some short-term borrowing. So companies go out of business all the time because they don't have enough cash to operate. Money's coming, going out faster than it's coming in. All right, so let's back up to the beginning. Operating. This is going to be receipts from who? We're operating our business. Who's going to give us money? Customers. So this is receipts from customers. And who are we going to be paying? Paid out to creditors and all those people we owe. So this section is basically going to be uh, what you're getting from customers and what you're having to pay out to your creditors, to your vendors, suppliers, your employees. That's your operating section. It's what we get from the customers minus what we have to pay out for our bills. Now, on your investing section, this is a little misleading because when you see the word investing, um, you probably think, okay, investing means I buy some uh, stock in Exxon. And that will become part of this later on. Right now, investing means investing in your own company. It means investing in your own company. And that means buying property.
That means land. So that's land. Plant, they call it PP&E, property, plant, that, that is your uh, buildings. Plant is your buildings. And equipment. Are you adding that or? All right, so if I'm buying it, is money coming in or going out? No. Going out. Now, this has to be cash. This is a statement of cash flow, not the statement I'm going to pay you later statement. This is a statement of cash. So cash has got to be changing hands, otherwise it doesn't go on this statement. It's a statement of cash flows. So if I'm buying property plant equipment, what's happening to my cash? Leaving. How do I make this a plus? What do I have to do? What's the opposite of buying the crap? Selling. So, all right. So if we sell our property, plant, and equipment, money's coming back in. So investing. It's, it means investing in your own company so that you can do better. I, I shouldn't have said that. I forgot he was taking me up there. I told him that wasn't a good idea because I can't control my mouth. Um, investing. Mm -hmm. investing. I can edit it later. Investing. Yeah, you can edit that part out. I got your name. <laughs> <laughs> investing means investing in yourself, in your own company. And that means, how, why do you want to buy property, plant, and equipment? What are you trying to do when you buy more buildings and more land and more equipment? You're trying to expand. So is it a bad thing for this to be a negative, for you to spend more money than you brought in, especially if you're new? All right, so here is money from your customers, <coughs> money to you paid out to your creditors. Investing is buying property, plant, equipment, or selling it. Now, financing. Financing is selling, and I'm going to tell you, your book uses selling and issuing stock. When it says you sold stock, sometimes your book says they issued stock, it means they sold stock. So if you sold stock, you're getting cash. So if it says you issued stock, they mean you're getting cash. You're not going to give away your stock. In reality, sometimes we do. But in this particular textbook right here at the beginning, when it says you issued stock, they mean you got cash. And that's the only reason it can go here is because it involves cash. So we're going to issue or sell stock, and that's if we issue stock, money's coming in, right? All right, the other things that go in this section are if we borrow money, and an example would be notes payable. And if I write something you can't read, just ask me. My left-handed scrawl, it gets kind of wild sometimes. It won't hurt my feelings. All right, if you borrow money or if you pay it back. <coughs> All right, which one of those is a plus and which one is a minus? Which one's bringing cash in? Which one's making borrow, cash borrow, go out? Borrow. So this is making cash come in. That makes cash go out. The last one is if you pay cash dividends, to your owners, your stockholders, your owners. I misspelled it. <clears throat> All right, so if you're paying uh, cash dividends to your own investors, then that goes in that financing section. 